K-Day Plasma 6.5 deconstructed means stepping past screenshots. Past release notes, past buzzwords, and actually living inside the interface the way a real user does. Hour after hour, day after day. It's not just clicking around for five minutes and saying it looks smooth, but noticing how it behaves when you multitask heavily, when you customize deeply, when you push it on older hardware, and when you try to make it feel like home rather than a demo. Plasma 6.5 is not just a visual update or a version number bump. It is the result of years of KDE rethinking how a modern Linux desktop should feel in a world where Windows keeps adding friction and macOS keeps locking things down. The moment Plasma 6.5 boots, there is a very deliberate sense that this desktop wants to stay out of your way while still giving you absolute control. And that balance is where the real UI experience lives. The first thing you notice is not a specific feature, but a feeling. Plasma 6.5 feels coherent. Animations are not just smoother, they are calmer. Windows open and close with motion that feels physically grounded instead of flashy. Transitions between virtual desktops no longer call attention to themselves, but still communicate spatial awareness. This matters more than people think, because UI friction is cumulative. When animations stutter or feel inconsistent, your brain notices even if you don't consciously complain. Plasma 6.5 feet seconds use of Wayland by default for many users is a big reason for this sense of cohesion. Input latency feels reduced, touchpad gestures feel more direct, and window movement feels like it is happening under your fingers rather than lagging behind them. The UI stops feeling like a layer on top of your work and starts feeling like the space your work lives in. Spend time with the panel and you start to see how much thought has gone into small interactions. The panel is still recognizably plasma, but behavior has been refined. Right-click menus appear instantly without tearing. Widgets respond with subtle feedback rather than abrupt jumps. The system tray is less cluttered by default, and icons scale more consistently across different DPI settings. On high-resolution displays, Plasma 6.5 finally feels native rather than merely compatible. Text rendering is sharper, spacing feels intentional and nothing looks like it was stretched from a lower resolution design. This is especially noticeable when you compare it side by side with older Plasma versions, or even with other desktops that claim high DPI support but still struggle with visual consistency. The application launcher experience in Plasma 6.5 is a quiet triumph. Whether you use the classic kickoff menu, the full screen application launcher, or a custom widget setup, the responsiveness is immediate. Typing to search applications, files, or settings feels instantaneous. There is no perceptible delay between keystrokes and results. Which sounds trivial, but fundamentally changes how often you rely on search instead of browsing categories. The UI encourages keyboard-driven workflows without punishing mouse users. You can feel that KDE is not forcing a single way of interacting, but allowing multiple interaction styles to coexist cleanly. That flexibility is core to the Plasma identity, and in 6.5 it finally feels refined rather than overwhelming. Window management is where Plasma 6.5 quietly surpasses most mainstream desktops. Tiling is optional, not forced, but when you use it, it feels intelligent. Snap zones are predictable. Window shadows don't bleed awkwardly into adjacent windows. Title bars remain functional rather than being reduced to decoration. If you use multiple monitors, Plasma 6.5 handles them with maturity. Panels stay where you put them. Wallpapers can be per display. Virtual desktops can span monitors or be isolated depending on your preference. This level of control is something Windows still struggles with and macOS intentionally avoids. Yet Plasma makes it accessible without burying it under obscure settings. Virtual desktops themselves feel more polished than ever. Switching between them is fluid and visually clear. Desktop previews and the overview effect are readable and responsive. You can tell at a glance what is running where, which is critical for productivity. The overview effect no longer feels like a gimmick borrowed from other desktops, but like a natural extension of the Plasma workflow. You can search for windows, move them between desktops, and reorganize your workspace without breaking focus. This is especially noticeable during long work sessions where context switching happens frequently. Plasma 6.5 respects your mental model of your workspace instead of forcing you to adapt to its own. Customization in Plasma 6.5 remains unmatched, but the real UI story is how that customization feels safer now. In the past, 
Plasma's flexibility sometimes came at the cost of stability or visual inconsistency. In 6.5, changing themes, icons, window decorations, and effects feels less risky. The system communicates clearly what will change and what won't. Theme previews are accurate. Applying changes is fast and rarely requires restarts. Even deep changes like switching window decorations or adjusting compositor settings feel reversible and non-destructive. This encourages experimentation, which is a huge part of why Plasma users grow attached to the desktop over time. The visual language of Plasma 6.5 is understated in the best way. Default themes avoid harsh contrasts while still maintaining clarity. Transparency is used sparingly and purposefully rather than as visual noise. Blur effects feel natural and are applied consistently. Shadows are softer and more realistic, helping windows feel layered without becoming distracting. Icons are crisp and readable even at small sizes. Nothing screams for attention, yet nothing feels dull. This balance is incredibly difficult to achieve, and Plasma 6.5 manages it without copying Mac OS or Windows outright. It feels distinctly KDE, confident in its own design direction. System settings is where Plasma 6.5 truly reveals its maturity. Historically, KDE settings have been powerful but intimidating. In 6.5, the layout feels more logical, with clearer grouping and better descriptions. Search inside system settings is fast and accurate, which reduces the need to hunt through categories. Sliders and toggles respond instantly, giving you confidence that changes are applied in real time. Explanatory text is written in plain language rather than developer jargon. This is critical for new users who want control without feeling overwhelmed. The UI invites exploration instead of warning you away from advanced options. Notifications in Plasma 6.5 deserve special attention because they demonstrate KDE's philosophy of user respect. Notifications are informative without being intrusive. Grouping is smarter, preventing notification spam. Actions within notifications are clearer and easier to click. Do not disturb mode is accessible and reliable. You can trust notifications to tell you what matters without hijacking your focus. Over long sessions, this creates a calmer computing experience compared to desktops that constantly interrupt you with pop-ups and alerts designed more for metrics than for usability. Audio and media controls feel more integrated than before. Volume changes are smooth and visually clear. Perplication audio control is easy to access and actually usable in practice. Media playback controls appear when relevant and disappear when not needed. Bluetooth audio devices connect more reliably and report their status accurately. These are small details, but they add up to a desktop that feels aware of what you are doing rather than just reacting blindly to events. Performance is perhaps the most surprising aspect of Plasma's 6.5 feet seconds UI experience. Even on modest hardware, the desktop feels light, memory usage is reasonable, CPU spikes are rare during normal interaction, animations do not compromise responsiveness. This makes Plasma 6.5 feel scalable, equally at home on a high-end workstation and on an older laptop. The UI does not punish you for choosing visual polish, which is something many desktops still struggle with. You get smoothness without sacrificing speed, and that balance is a huge reason why long-term users stick with Plasma. Wayland's support in Plasma 6.5 is no longer a caveat-filled promise, but a practical reality for many workflows. Gestures feel native. Fractional scaling works more reliably. Multi-monitor setups behave predictably. While edge cases still exist, the overall UI experience under Wayland feels more future-proof than X11 ever did. This matters not just for today, but for how Plasma will age over the next several years. The UI choices made in 6.5 clearly anticipate evolving hardware and input methods rather than clinging to legacy assumptions. Application integration is another area where Plasma 6.5 shines quietly. K-Day apps feel like they belong on the desktop, sharing consistent menus, dialogues, and shortcuts. At the same time, GTK applications integrate visually and behaviorally better than ever. Fonts match. Themes apply cleanly. Window controls behave consistently. This reduces the mental friction of switching between apps built on different toolkits. The UI stops reminding you of its underlying technical complexity and simply lets you work. Accessibility in Plasma 6.5 is not an afterthought. 
font scaling, contrast options, keyboard navigation, and screen reader support are integrated into the UI rather than bolted on. Adjustments are easy to find and easy to test. Visual feedback helps users understand what changes are doing. This benefits everyone, not just users with specific accessibility needs. A UI that is flexible enough to adapt to different abilities is inherently more resilient and user-friendly. Long-term use reveals another important truth about Plasma 6.5's UI experience. It respects your time. The desktop does not constantly prompt you to sign in, subscribe, sync, or enable cloud features. Updates are visible, but not aggressive. System messages are informative rather than alarming. You feel like the system exists to serve you, not to extract engagement. This philosophical difference is subtle, but powerful especially for users coming from platforms where the UI increasingly feels like an advertising surface. As you customize Plasma 6.5 over weeks and months, the UI adapts gracefully. Adding widgets does not degrade performance. Changing workflows does not break muscle memory. Even after heavy customization, the desktop remains stable and predictable. This is the mark of a mature UI framework. Plasma is no longer trying to prove that it can do everything. It is showing that it can do many things well without collapsing under its own flexibility. The real UI experience of KDE Plasma 6.5 is not about a single killer feature. It is about the absence of friction. It is about the feeling that nothing is fighting you. Windows behave the way you expect. Settings are where you think they should be. Visuals support clarity instead of distraction. Performance stays consistent even as your workload grows. For time, you stop thinking about the desktop entirely, and that is the highest compliment any UI can receive. Plasma 6.5 does not try to mimic Mac OS elegance or Windows familiarity. Yet it borrows lessons from both while maintaining its own identity. It offers polish without restriction and power without chaos. For users who value control but also care deeply about how a system feels moment to moment, Plasma 6.5 delivers an experience that is quietly exceptional. The UI fades into the background, letting your work, your creativity, and your focus take center stage, and in doing so it reminds us what a desktop environment is supposed to be in the first place.